this is downtown. It's pretty quaint. Uh, it's real quiet right now. It is Sunday about noon. So yeah, it's really quiet here. It's nice though. Check out the uh, brick road. Anyway, I'm going to wander around here a little bit. And then later we'll, uh, we'll be grabbing the wife and we will do a thing or two. It's not a huge downtown. It's not a huge city though. About 49,000 people here. It's the twin city of Gulfport, which is west of here, about 12 miles. But you already know that if you saw the Gulfport video. Uh, together, the two cities metro is 418,000, which is pretty good, uh, pretty good size. That's uh, nearly half a million people. Looks really nice here though, it's well developed. Look at that, that's a beautiful building. And I like that clock there. Very clean, <laughs> I mean look, not so much as a gum wrapper on the ground here. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take a look around here and as I do, I will tell you about the city. Got some interesting architecture here. Uh, somebody's working on this building. I just wanted to make sure and show this clock because uh, that's beautiful. I really like that. Yeah, everything looks really nice. I'm going to head up this way. This part is hopping a little bit. Got a couple of restaurants here. Uh, there's Hard Rock Cafe. Casino uh, Hotel. Hearing some real old music. <laughs> this is the Reading House. It is on the National Register. It was built in 1908. I'm back on this main street. Uh, it's called Howard Avenue. I'm gonna walk up here. Yeah, this building is the Barks building. It was built in 1901, and then the Barks family bought it in 1938. Barks root beer was invented here. I'm gonna go there shortly. It's just down the street. Uh, you know, the place where it was invented. But apparently they're finding all kinds of interesting uh, items and architectural uh, treasures that have been hidden and covered up in this building. It's been in the news quite a bit. Uh, really interesting. I'm just glad to see they're renovating it. Okay, I'm back out on Howard Avenue. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the town. Poverty rate is 17.1%. That's a little higher than the U.S. average, which is 11.4. Per capita income is 27,900. Uh, U.S. average is 35,400. So that's lower. Median household income is 49,000 even. U.S. average is 67,500. Uh, again, that's lower. But cost of living here is really low too, especially for being on the coast. Zillow says the average house here will cost you 215400 That's less than half of what the U.S. average is. So housing is pretty cheap. One bedroom apartment will cost you on average $999. Uh, crime rate is 4.3. Now this is the violent crime rate. 4.3 per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 3.9 per 100,000, so it's just a shade higher than the U.S. average. Thought I'd take a quick look at this mural. But anyway, yeah, about the crime rate, it's uh, pretty good. Just a shade higher than the U.S. average. Uh, the city overall is pretty safe. Okay, so I'm gonna hop back in the Bronco, take a look at a few other things here. Uh, that's coming up right now. 
But before that happens, let's check out Biloxi from the air. Now for those of you who love root beer, especially those of you who love Barks root beer, this is where it was invented, right here. It was invented here in 1898 by one of the Barks brothers. This is what's left of the building. Not much, <laughs> hopefully they can renovate it back to what it looked like at one time but yeah a little bit of history here the original building the very building that Barks root beer was invented next time I have a Barks root beer it will be an interesting memory for me it's a damn shame this building is in this condition though. It looks like they're gonna work on it. You can see uh, signs of construction. A door that serves no purpose right now, obviously. But anyway, there you go. This is Beauvoir. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is the home of Jefferson Davis. He was the president of the Confederacy. Uh, when the war was over, he was having some uh, financial difficulty. So the current owner of the estate, Sarah Dorsey, invited him to come live here in the guest house. I'm thinking that's it right there. Uh, she said he could live there for free while he, while he wrote his autobiography. He accepted. Uh, he was there for a while and then Sarah Dorsey knowing that she was not going to last much longer left the uh, plantation to the Jefferson family in her will and this is where he spent his final years. Uh, Beauvoir means beautiful to view. No question that that is a good name because this is the view from the front. Clearly this Beach Boulevard wasn't here then, so you could just walk out uh, out the front door, and this is what you're looking at. Beautiful beach in Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, 
It was built in 1848. It's on a national register, as you can imagine. That's the home there. This is his presidential library. Pretty impressive looking building. Yeah, let's take a look at this sign. Uh, Beauvoir, the Jefferson Davis home and presidential library owned and operated by the Mississippi Division, Sons of Confederate Veterans. Yeah, there you go. So this is where he lived out his final years. This is the Biloxi Lighthouse. It was built in 1848. It was actually designed and constructed in Baltimore, Maryland, then shipped here and, uh, well, built here. Let's see what this uh, sign says. Since its construction in 1848, this cast iron lighthouse has been the landmark for which Biloxi bound vessels sail. Tended by the youngins, family, father, mother, and daughter from late 1866 until 1929. So there you go. Uh, I was reading that it has survived every hurricane including Katrina. Uh, cast iron construction though, that might have something to do with it. Clearly it is really sturdy. But anyway, yeah, this is one of the landmarks of Biloxi. And it is, of course, right here on the coast. Give you some views. You see that white sand beach. All right. Uh going to take a look at a few neighborhoods here you can see I'm um, just to the left of downtown just a few blocks out I'm thinking we'll check out some neighborhoods uh, that are close to the city center looking pretty nice isn't it love this grown-in look you know Roll my windows down. Got some beautiful homes here, though. I mean, this one right here. Wow, it's really nice. Again, just really uh, well taken care of older homes. Beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, now I'm on just about to the water. Yeah, it must be nice, huh? I'm uh, a little bit east of downtown. Give you a look. Yeah, a lot of your houses start looking like this especially when you're close to the water. Yeah, look at that. They're way off the ground. Doing their best to not get flooded. When those hurricanes hit, they definitely get them here. Another one here. It's a really nice house. Yeah, these train tracks run right through the middle of town. Can you see that on the map? <laughs> there he comes. Look at these. These are way up on the stilts. Uh, there's the coast right there. We got one under construction here. Hmm. 
Well, one of the things that always happens when we go to a, to a beach town is wifey needs a bikini. So here we are. Going to get a new bikini. All right, success. Bikini gotten. Yeah, bikini gotten. Black bikini. Now time to try it out. We are out on the beach. It's a little windy, but it's nice, about 80 degrees. Here in late October. Wifey has got her new bikini on. It's a regular black utilitarian model. <laughs> right? Yes. Anyway, yeah. Uh, can't get over this beach. Yeah, it's beautiful. This uh, beaches here rival any that we've been to. They really are beautiful. The sun comes out, it's great. Huh? The sun comes out, like, right now, it's great. The sun comes out, yeah. We're right by the lighthouse. The lighthouse? The lighthouse. And a loud truck going by. Look at all the seagulls. Mm. They're after some food over there, it looks like. There they go. They're after something. What do you think they're after? Are they just playing follow the leader? One guy goes out and they all go, we're going too. Is that what happens, you think? I think so. Yeah? Well, anyway, uh, I guess we're just going to hang out here for a bit. And then we're going to have uh, something to eat at one of the local restaurants. There was a pier here at once. But uh, it looks like the floor of it was ripped up. I'm going to guess Hurricane. Katrina maybe. Someone can fill in. But now it's just a place where the uh, seagulls hang out. There's a gazebo of some sort way out there, but you can't get to it unless you swim out there. That's too bad. It's been cool to go out there. Best kind of day. Yeah? What do you think? What's that? A lazy day? Yeah. I'm just enjoying the water. Huh? I'm just enjoying the sound of the water. Yeah, it's nice. And my Tootsie Roll Pop. Tootsie Roll Pop, yes. Cherry. Gotta get cherry. Cherry. Okay, good. Time to walk the beach. <laughs> Not right, honey. I won't even dip my toes in. Yeah, you won't even get in the water. She's afraid she'll be too cold. And look, we got some kids out here swimming. They're tough. Yeah, see? <laughs> Yeah? They're, They're what? They're much braver than I am. Braver than you? Yeah. Look at all those uh, seagulls. I can't mm. brave the cold water. Yeah. Well, it's nice here. I'll say that. I totally want this truck. Yeah, I'd put that in my driveway and go get groceries in it. I want this for Christmas, okay? Now what's that truck say? That says, <laughs> that says, that's what you're going to get me for Christmas. I want this truck right here, okay? They're compensating for something? No. It's just cool. It's freaking huge. That's right, it's huge. Is this privately owned? I'm a dude. We like big trucks. Most private. of us. That's not privately owned. What is it? Well, it'll be privately owned when you buy it for me. Christmas. Nobody's driving around the regular streets in that thing. Oh, yeah. I will. I'll do it. We have decided to come back to the hotel and uh, hang out at the hot tub. Right? Yeah. This pool is heated, too. It's, well, it's, it's like warm. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, the hot tub overflows into the pool there. And so the pool's really warm too. So uh, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. I forgot to take my watch off. Oh, you better take that off. You shouldn't rush me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're just right across from the uh, water. It's really nice. Really nice here. Isn't that hot tub a little warm right now? Huh? Come here, you. Oh, good. I've got the jets going behind me. The water's really nice in this pool. Yeah, look at this anchor. Cool. Anyway, we are at McElroy's Harbor House Seafood Restaurant. We're told that this is the place to eat. You can see it up there, way off the ground. It's, uh, I guess you would say that it's hurricane proof, more or less. Anyway, we're gonna go up there and eat. Minnie said this is the place to go while in Biloxi. So here we are. They better be right. Yep, they better be right. They better be good. <laughs> we're gonna be upset. But it looks cool here. A uh, bunch of boats. I guess that's why it's called the Harbor Rest or Harbor House, isn't it? Got a lot of boats docked here. Yeah, that would be fun to get on a boat, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna head in uh, right now. Let's go. You ready? Let's do it. Ooh, we're finally up here. Nice view, though. Where's the entrance to this place? This way? All right, here we go. Let's go have some food. We're sitting at the outside bar. Nice. See the view here? I'll come out here and show you what we're looking at. A lot of tables there. We're gonna sit at the bar like we always do. How cool. That is an island out there. It's uninhabited and there are no roads to it. The only way you can get to it is by boat. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Wow, it's beautiful. Anyway, it looks like uh, Wifey is getting our drinks ordered. Did you order our drinks? <laughs> Okay, our dinner is here. I've got blackened flounder with uh, some crab, not crab stuffing, what is that? Crab, well I've got crab on top, <laughs> broccoli, fries, and you've got blackened redfish and it's blackened stuffed. redfish with broccoli. It's stuffed mm -hmm. with crab. Uh -huh. Cool. Looks good. Am I right? Am I right, mm -hmm. folks? Looks good. We're going to dig in now, see if it is good. All right, we are underneath the restaurant. This is what it looks like underneath. Cool. Huh? How about that? It's prettier above. Yeah, check out this cool boat that I'm going to buy. Right! Yeah, I told him I'd love him more if he had that boat. Yeah, I'd love me more too. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, we don't know where we're going next. Better figure it out. But it will be up in two days. So, uh, be looking for that one.